Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at slightly more challenging ratio type questions. These are the ones that contain a lot of words. They are aimed at GCSE around about grade 5, but kind of plus grade 6, something like that. They do take a little bit of working through, but I hope you find value from them. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. I will say a quick shout out also to the members of the 3 Minute Maths YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all of your support. Particularly a shout out to Dora. I'm going to use your name Dora in question two of this particular video. Um, I hope you enjoy it and find value from it. Thank you again for all of your support and I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at slightly more challenging ratio problems. So on with question number one, it says in a clothing shop the ratio of hats to ties is four to three, the ratio of gloves to hats is nine to one. Find the ratio of ties to gloves. Okay, I don't know why you would want to find that out but nevertheless it's one of those questions that we've got. Okay, so the difficulty I think with these sorts of questions is that they do take a lot of, bit of, uh, a lot of reading through. However, However, we can break it down and we can say, well, hats to ties is four to three and the ratio of gloves to hats is nine to one. OK, so the difficulty we've got is that we've got four hats here and one hat here. So what we need to do is to make the hats the same. So I'll just make a note of that. Make hats the same. OK, now in order to do that, all I need to do is to multiply this by four. So if I multiply this by four, I'm going to get four hats, which is great because it's the same as that. But don't forget, if you multiply this by four, you have to multiply the nine by four as well. So I'm going to times it by four. I'm going to get four and then I'm going to get 36. So we're in a position now where we've got the same number of hats, which means we can write hats to ties to gloves. And hats is going to be four. Well, that's OK, because we've got that. Ties we know is already three and gloves is actually 36. OK, so it then says find the ratio of ties to gloves. Well, that's ties to gloves is going to be 3 to 36, but in its simplest form, it's going to be 1 to 12. OK, so the answer to this particular question is going to be 1 to 12. OK, hope that's OK for you. As I say, please do stop the video, have a go at these questions and then compare your solutions. If you're not sure, add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. OK, let's move on then to question number two, which is uh, one of the channel members, which is Dora. Thank you again to Dora for being so supportive of the work at Three Minute Maths. OK, so Alan, Ben and Dora share some marbles. The amount of marbles gets to the amount of marbles Ben gets is in the ratio 70, 7 to 3. OK, and again, a lot of words in this particular question, but let's break it down. So we've got Alan to Ben, and that's going to be in the ratio 7 to 3. OK, and then we've got um, Alan to Dora, and that's going to be in the ratio of 3 to 5. OK, so again, immediately we've got a problem because we've got 7 for Alan, but only three for Alan here. So what we need to do is make Alan have the same amount of marbles. So Alan needs the same. OK, so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this ratio by three, because if I do that, I get 21 Alan's, uh, marbles for Alan and nine marbles for Ben. OK, if I multiply this ratio by seven, I'm going to get 21 marbles for Alan and I'm going to get 35 marbles for Dora. OK, but we're now in a position where we can write Alan to Ben to Dora as 21 for Alan. Okay. Ben, we know, has nine 
and Dora we know has 35. So that's the ratio as it stands at the moment. So all we've done is we've made Alan have the same amount, 21 in both cases. And then we've said, well, Dora must have 35 and Ben must have nine. So that's where we are at the moment with our ratio. But then, like a lot of these questions, just gets a little bit more tricky. It says, given that Dora gets 28 more marbles than Alan. OK, well, unfortunately, as it stands at the moment, that's just not the case. As it stands at the moment, Dora has 14 more marbles than Alan. So we've got to be, put ourselves in a position where Dora actually gets 28 more marbles than Alan. Now, in order to do that, all we're going to do is multiply this by two. Now, if we multiply this by two, it means we're going to multiply all the other numbers by two. So let's have a look at what happens there. So we've got Alan, Ben and Dora. Alan now is going to have 21 times 2, which is 42. Uh, ben is going to have 9 times 2, which is 18. And Dora is going to have 35 times 2, which is 70. So in this particular case now, because we've multiplied everything by 2, uh, Dora is going to get 28 more marbles than Alan, which meets that particular question. So the question then asks, work out how many marbles Ben gets. OK, well, Ben gets 18 marbles and that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below in the comments. I'll always come back to you and look forward to seeing you inside the next video where we're going to have a look at some slightly uh, trickier ratio problems, although these were fairly challenging as they were. But in both cases, try to find some commonality with the question. Try to find a way of making either in this particular case for question one, the hat's the same or in question two, Alan needs to be the same in both cases. Hope it's been useful. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.